In the shadow of a drastic 68% decline in home availability since 2008, the current state of the housing market sends a clear signal. It's time to build. Join us as we explore the urgent necessity for the construction of new homes with six different charts that paint an ugly picture of present and future home affordability. If there's one message you need to hear about the current housing market, it's this. We desperately need to build more homes. This graph, based on data from my local market in Tallahassee, Florida, reflects a trend common in many U.S. housing markets. In 2008, there were 3,192 homes for sale. Today, that number has plummeted to just 1,022, a 68% decrease. Buyers currently face slim pickings when house hunting. Rather than touring 10 homes and choosing a favorite to make an offer on, they are now compelled to quickly visit homes that are just good enough as soon as they hit the market to avoid being outbid by other buyers. It's clear we need more homes. As we wrap up the first quarter of 2024, we observe a notable decline in home sales, a decrease of 8% from last year and a significant 36% from the first quarter of 2022. Despite a robust local economy, which should theoretically boost home sales, this year's figures are just average when compared to the past 17 years. So what's behind this subdued demand? While higher mortgage rates are often blamed, the real culprit lies in the scarcity of available homes. Since 2008, construction in the U.S. has lagged behind demand, leading to a persistent shortage and a sluggish housing market. This isn't just a local issue, it's a national crisis. Reports from across the country highlight an urgent need for more housing. In today's housing market, understanding the month's supply of homes for sale is crucial for homeowners. This metric measures how long the current inventory of homes would last at the present rate of sales, assuming no new listings. A lower month's supply typically signifies a seller's market, indicating that homes are selling faster due to high demand. For example, Tallahassee is currently experiencing a seller's market with only 3.6 months of supply. Historically, a balanced market where neither buyers nor sellers have the upper hand is marked by a six-month supply. This means sellers in Tallahassee are in an advantageous position due to the limited inventory and brisk sales pace. This trend is vital for homeowners to understand, whether you're considering selling or just keeping an eye on market dynamics. The luxury home market has shown remarkable resilience and growth over the past three years. Back in 2012, during the housing market recovery, there was a significant 26-month supply of luxury homes. At that time, it seemed uncertain when the high-end market would stabilize. Despite the vast inventory, where no new luxury homes would have been needed until 2015 to meet demand, the market began to rebound impressively. This turnaround was spurred by historically low mortgage interest rates, which dipped below 4% and even reached under 3%. These low rates not only stabilized, but invigorated the upper end of the housing market, effectively doubling the buying power of many prospective home buyers. Today, even as interest rates return to more typical levels, luxury homes sell at rates defying historical norms. Looking to buy a home? You might think there are plenty of options out there, but the reality is a bit different. A staggering 71% of listings were under contract as of 2021, leaving fewer homes available than what appeared. This scarcity trend continues today, with 45% of the inventory over the past year not truly available, as other buyers already secured them. From 2011 to 2018, typically only 25% to 35% of homes were under contract at any given time. This allowed more freedom for buyers to find their dream home. Now, securing a home is more challenging than ever, requiring rapid decision-making from buyers due to the tightly constrained market. Social media continues to buzz with dire predictions of an imminent foreclosure crisis reminiscent of the housing bubble 15 years ago. However, a deeper look into the data tells a different story, especially here in the Tallahassee housing market. Our current analysis shows that while the percentage of distressed properties rose, this was not due to an increase in actual distressed listings, but rather a reduction in overall listings. The number of distressed homes today is fewer than that from early 2020, pre-COVID. Additionally, the market today has appreciated so highly that most homeowners are sitting on equity. If they find themselves in trouble paying their mortgage, they can sell their homes, pay off the debt, and pocket their home's appreciation. So, despite the alarming forecast by many YouTubers, the data confirms that there is no looming foreclosure crisis. As we wrap up our look at the U.S. housing market, with a special focus on Tallahassee, it's clear that we need to act now. The sharp drop in home availability since 2008 has reshaped buyer behavior in the overall economy. 
The bottom line, we have to speed up building new homes. If we don't tackle this shortage, the affordability crisis will only get worse, putting more pressure on an already tight market. Buyers end up in homes that barely meet their needs, or as tenants in apartment buildings missing out on home ownership. To fix this, we need everyone, policymakers, builders, and community leaders, to come together with sustainable, effective solutions that cater to both current and future residents. Investing in new housing is essential for our economic health and quality of life. Stay informed and get involved as we continue to follow the latest in real estate. Keep watching our updates and join the conversation. What we do today will shape our communities tomorrow. Let's make it count. If you want to see a video featuring my nine tips for buying a home in an inventory deprived market, you can view it by clicking on the box on the left side of your screen. To see a popular video featuring my top six home selling tips, just click on the box on the right. Please remember to like this video, check out the links below it, and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything.